Hello and welcome to a Max Factory set uh, Figma classroom. Uh, this is a kit that obviously caters to well, the Figma figures in that scale, so it's a uh, 1 to 12 scale of uh, figures. And uh, this is a little set that creates, well, it says, like I said, a classroom. Um, this pretty much is only gonna be appealing to people mostly in Asia where we have this style of classroom for those of you overseas maybe it depends um, but it mostly uh, depends on uh, what you had in your classroom did you have this style of table and desk maybe when you're a bit younger or um, a lot of schools today still use these I've seen some schools that use pure plastic desks so it doesn't hurt like if they've fallen or something, I don't know. But uh, most schools in Asia uh, use these, especially in Japan and Hong Kong. Um, if you're in like the poor Asian countries, then probably not. But you know, the standard Asian schools will be using these. And it's a sunny background, so that's that's nice, I guess. Uh, not much to see on both sides of the box. Just says classroom. Classroom uh, at the bottom. Get this a uh, few images there with uh, their flesh skin. I think they got the male um, body type figures and female male female body type figures. Um, not generic or stereotype. They have like the male uh, male 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 archi no. Uh, what's that word? Um, male archetype. That's it figures um, that, they, that they release at some point. There's also a transparent version of those. So the back of the box tells you exactly what you get inside. Um, it shows you an image, you got a card and these pieces there to build the whole set. Um, this isn't, since this is like kind of like a model kit where you have to build everything, uh, once you get everything out, um, you can fit everything back into the box, but um, well, the pieces are actually kind of fragile, so you're going to think if you want to do that or not. So get the box out of the way. Uh, inside, uh, the Originally, everything is completely packed inside. Um, first, you, you get everything inside a little bubble wrap. And inside the bubble wrap, you have these little baggies. Uh, and these baggies, apart from those baggies, there's also smaller baggies. There's also um, tissue paper inside holding certain pieces, which is really is a complete... Uh, overkill in terms of packaging. Um, let me show you another. Like one of the bags that I didn't open is one of these uh, inside here. I'll show you what the pieces look exactly like in, in, in a moment. But uh, inside here, you got a few pieces to connect the uh, base. So, um, so, of course, you also have the instruction manual, which tells you basically how to assemble the piece. So, there it is. If you want to take a closer look at the box art, uh, instruction manual, and photo shoot of this set, uh, please feel free to head over to the Facebook or flick a link in the video description below. Now, these transparent pieces, now where the hell do all these pieces go? Right. So, first of all, uh, you have the basic base. Right here, you got two of these. I'm going to zoom in a little bit now. So, uh, basic floor pattern. Like wooden floor pattern, a lot of holes here to make it easier for you to pose uh, figures and attach little stands to them. Uh, obviously they will attach the Figma stands because after all this is released by Figma, but they do also, um, uh, for the uh, for the little light stage that I have, uh, the stand, the pegs on those stands, they peg into the, they're loose, but they do peg into the thicker hole, thicker slots. Uh, as for SH figure arts, you know, or stage act stands, uh, the thick ends do not peg in. However, if you have one of these smaller, extra small tips that you get in time, some time she acts, you can peg them into the small hole, which is pretty tight. Uh, not too tight, so that that's good. So we got that going on. Uh, so yeah, you can use uh, figure arts uh, stage. Zoom back out a bit. Obviously, like I said, you have two pieces here. Uh, I opened one of those bags. There's two bags that have a lot of these attachments, and basically, there's two types of attachments inside. Uh, let's let me just get that little bag again. So, let's see, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think get 
8. Yeah. Uh, 8 background attachment pieces, like those like this, and uh, 2 uh, board attachment pieces. So basically what you, what you see underneath here, you got all these little holes and pegs that, you know, uh, that the holes on the top but also keep makes me more secure. You get on these pegs and you just sort of just slide it in. It's a bit squidgy. Uh, it's not the most comfortable thing to do. I think I did it wrong already. You want to make sure there's a little slight gap there so you can actually attach a background. So that plug plugs in. Same with uh, this piece. You just plug it in, making sure there's enough. There's, there's still a gap. So line it. And then line this piece. Oh, I don't want to align it that way because I just want it to make more sense because of the floor pattern. Uh, this piece is not aligned. So yeah, there we go. So now I have this piece aligned. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Uh, yeah. Now obviously this isn't. Once this is attached, it's okay, but it isn't the best thing ever. It just feels. It doesn't feel good when you're trying to push it in, it's a bit hard to push in to just get it right. Sometimes you push it in and it's slightly off center and then you can't stick the card in, it's just really annoying. Speaking of the card, it literally is just a piece of cardboard, so it's easy to damage, easy to break, easy to mess up. Um, it's only printed one side, you know, one thing, you know, they could have printed the other side with like an afternoon or something, like a an evening set, but no, they didn't. Uh, so just a single side, and you just stick that in. That falls in there, kind of loose. Uh, I think you can tighten this up. Yep. So uh, what the uh, what this, what these little pieces allow you to do is actually slide them backwards and forwards, so you can tighten this up a little bit if you really want to. So I'm just going to do that so it doesn't fall down and anything. And uh, next we have obviously the, the table and desk. So, you get two of these each. Uh, you have to build them yourself. Uh, first, we, let's look at the desk. So here's the, here's the desk, uh, with a little space inside. Now, uh, building this is kind of fidgety. First of all, uh, some of these bits are loose. You see here, this one doesn't stay in this peg. You see, I can just pull it apart easily. So that's not that's not good at all. The coloring here is definitely not. It's just a molded silver plastic, so it's definitely not like a Bandai silver. So it doesn't. While it is silver-ish, it doesn't look like metal at all. So you're definitely going to have to paint the uh, silver parts if you want to make it look authentic, and you definitely want to glue bits down. Now. Uh, I just use my hands to build these and some pieces, um, you know, uh, you really need to uh, sand file down bits of the pieces because uh, this desk is doing okay, but I think the other one, uh, the other one, there's, a, there's a, kind of a gap right here. If I just put the lights behind it, you can probably see it, the gap going through. See that? That gap right there. So that's not good. Uh, I can't force this in any more than it is right now. The pegs that's not going inside and so that's that's a huge bummer and uh, this one's uh, this one's also loose on one end it's just annoying so yeah you really have to glue these down and another thing is uh, once you snap the plastic off the bracket obviously there's gonna be a gap there even though this thing's painted it's gonna be a little molding dot right there again it's really annoying and uh, these tables don't peg in um, they just don't fit in any of the pegs, so you can't peg these in. Uh, but apart from that, they do look like they're how they're supposed to. I just really wish I could actually peg them in, that's all. So they're not sliding around all over the place. And of course, um, the feet are bigger than the smaller holes, but smaller than the big holes. So that can happen when you're just moving it around, and it's just kind of annoying. That happens. Uh, also assembling it, uh, now these, obviously these plastics, they're not the tight, strongest thing ever so they could probably break quite easily um, so you do have to be careful especially when moving certain parts from the bracket like these little hooks they were quite fragile uh, and building it the pegs were 
the way you build them is be well, after you assemble the whole piece together, it feels quite solid. But during assembly, uh, pieces fair, are very fidgety, so the assembly process is a bit annoying uh, when you when you when you're doing it. But once once it's done, it's okay. Um, uh, yeah, the chairs are they're okay too. Um, again, once they're done. So, um, and like I said, you definitely need some sort of nail clipper to uh, clip off the ex ex uh, excess plastic. So that's that. Uh, for the price of this set, it isn't too much, and uh, I can see my. S I mean, mm, I think most of the money is going towards the actual base because it's just like the thickest and strongest plastic. Um, the chairs themselves, they aren't that good. This really only appealed to me because I used to be in a classroom like this in primary school, and it's very similar. Uh, for two hundred dollars, you can get it. Just think, though, for two hundred dollars, Hong Kong, uh, you're gonna get an actual fi uh, Figma or Figots figure. Whereas here, the set. So you gotta think. I don't think this, the value of this set equals to the details, the engineering, and all the movement accessories that comes with natural Figots. So that's something you gotta think. Like, um, say Agito, that was like hundred ninety, so that's probably cheaper when it first came out. And uh, you know, you know, double cycling Joker would have been that cheap, when especially with the reissue. Uh, in terms of Figma, um, yeah, and no, in terms of other things, uh, all the Figma stuff that I've got are licensed stuff, so they're they're more expensive. Uh, but you know, like the Mario SH Figarts, that's pretty much the same price as this. So again, that's something to definitely consider. Now I am here posing two uh, figures that I have. That would be the obvious candidates for this set. Uh, however, posing these is a complete nightmare. Now, if you look at the, if I look back at the back of the box, uh, you can see that they're posing the uh, standard uh, archetype figures. Figma is pretty much the same scale as uh, SH Figarts, and you can see here that these uh, tables are definitely not tall enough for these uh, figures. So one must think what's going on there. Uh, so yeah, they can't really fit in there. Also posing is a complete nightmare because these things slide around this, this surface very easily. And you see there's not a lot of space here for you to uh, pose these uh, things. So yeah, again, it's just really kind of annoying, not too well. Uh, I did consider getting a second set just to so I, uh, give, make it like a classroom corner, but uh, I'm not going to do that anymore because, well, these don't really fit too well. And the overall price for this set isn't that appealing. Um, while it's cool to have a 112 scale um, of this kind of, uh, sort of table and desk, I wish they were just a bit bigger um, to fit with sort of more of a secondary school height and not like primary school height. So, yeah, um, can't really recommend this too much. Because if it was 150 Hong Kong, then that would be a lot better. I'd say I'd get it for that. Um, but for the price that it's currently going for, not so much. Subscribe, suggest, and comment below. And of course, take care and have a nice day. Bye.